hello guys welcome to my channel in this particular video i'm dropped today i will be showing you how to develop a cryptocurrency investment website this is not just an ordinary crypto investment website this is an advanced crypto investment website with awesome features i will show you the features of the website both the admin and the user dashboard before i will go straight to the step-by-step -step video guide on how you can achieve something like this on your own okay so this is the website as you can see right now this is the front page of the website it look awesome so there are other pages we have the about us page we have the plans we have the review contact us and then um, register and then login okay so what i'll do right now is that i'll need to register as a user so that you will see how the user dashboard look thereby we'll move to the admin dashboard i will also show you the various features of the admin dashboard which you will achieve once you get this particular bitcoin investment script okay so to register as a user i will need to click on this particular button here okay so this is the user registration page of the website i will type in my username okay then i will type in my full name then my email address okay so i will type in my phone number all right then my password okay so select country I'll select any country over here then if you have a, a referral id you can put it here but if you don't have you move over to the uh, registration button i will click on register okay guys so as you can see right here this is the um, user registration page this is how the user dashboard look when your clients register on this particular website this is how they are going to see their um, user dashboard as you can see this this look awesome it look very organized and um, beautiful so when you credit this particular account as you can see over here the account balance is showing zero zero dollar the total profit is showing zero zero the total bonus total referral bonus total investment plan and uh, the rest of it they are all showing zero zero that's because no transaction have been made on this particular account so as you can see this is also the dashboard so these are all the features that is attached to the user dashboard okay so we'll go over here you'll see the um, profit record all right so there is no record here right now you see your roi history so we don't have any history right now because this is a fresh account we just um, created okay so you can also see over here we have the um, transaction history okay we don't have any transaction history you can see on um, crypto exchange so you can also exchange your clients can also exchange their um, cryptocurrency over here you can decide to exchange your um, bitcoin to uh, ethereum okay so that's how awesome this particular um, bitcoin investment script is okay and also we have the subscribe to a plan we have, this is where we have the investment plan as you can see right now we have the we have um, four investment plan on this particular account i'm going to show you all the step-by-step -step guide on how you can create investment plan from the admin dashboard so this is just the user dashboard i want you to understand how the user dashboard work before we move over to the admin dashboard you can add more plans from the admin dashboard you can you can edit uh, already created plan okay so that's for the plans we have the um, my investment so if if you have inv if you have invested in this particular website when you click on my investment you will see your, all your active investment okay so there's no investment currently on this particular um, account so that place is showing empty you do not have a package at the moment okay that's why it's showing like that and also we, we also have a um, refer user so if it's if any user refers you if if it you were referred by uh, an already existing user so your referral will be showing in this um, particular session okay so that's all about the um, dashboard so what i will need to do now is that i will need to add funds so you can see right here we have the fund your account we have the withdraw funds okay so if you want to fund your account i will have you have to click on this particular session i say okay fund your account then the, you put the particular amount you want to fund let's say you want to fund um let's say uh, one thousand dollar one thousand dollar oh sorry that's ten thousand let's say one thousand dollar want to fund our account with one thousand dollar then you select your payment method so as an admin of this particular website you have the you can add as many 
um, payment method as possible. You can add Bitcoin, you can add even direct bank transfer, you can add it from the admin dashboard, okay? So those are the um, available payment method that I already added from the admin dashboard. You can add as many payment method as possible, okay? So let's say I want to make use of this particular payment, Bitcoin payment. I will click on it, okay? You see it's showing your payment method. You have chosen to pay with Bitcoin payment, okay? So I will click on proceed to payment, okay? So this is the company uh, Bitcoin wallet address. This is where you put your Bitcoin wallet address so that your um, clients can uh, copy the Bitcoin wallet address and make payment to it. So you are see, as you can see here, you are to make payment of $1,000 using your selected payment method. Screenshot and upload the proof of payment, Bitcoin payment method, okay? So after making payment, you have to uh, upload the, script, the screenshot of your proof of payment for confirmation purpose, all right? So let's say after uploading uh, the, the particular um, proof, then you come over here and click on submit. Okay, so no, you need to upload something here. Let, let me just select this one as our proof. All right, then I'll click on submit payment. Okay, so as you can see right now, um, account phone success. So please wait for system to validate this transaction. Okay, so it's now left for the admin of this particular website to approve this particular payment, that's if you receive it, then if you did not receive it, you can decide to um, decline or delete this the transaction, okay? So now we'll go back, we'll go to our admin dashboard. This is the admin dashboard of, it, of this particular website. As you can see, the admin dashboard look well organized. So what I will need to do now to approve this particular transaction is that I'll click on manage d slash w, okay? So we have a manage deposit, we have a manage withdraw. Okay, so we made a deposit from the user account. So I will click on manage deposit right here. Okay, so this is the, this is the um, account who made the deposit with. As you can see, the amount here $1,000 and the payment method is a Bitcoin payment. And the status, the status is currently on pending. So I will need to approve this particular transaction now before it will reflect on the user account. Okay, so let me go back to the user account now and refresh the account. So this is the referral bonus. So you can set the account to maybe a um, $5 bonus. Whenever a user register, it will get $5 on its account. So I will show you how to set that also. Okay, so now I'll need to approve this particular um, $1,000 Bitcoin payment now so that it will reflect in the account. I will click on process. You can see right now the um, status has changed to process. So I will go over to the account, so the user account and refresh so that we will see if the $1,000 is shown here. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, the $1,000 is now um, showing on the user account. It was $5 before, but now you can see it's now showing $1,005, okay? so. That's how to credit um, user account. That's how to approve um, user funds so that it will show in his or her account. Okay, so that's for the uh, user dashboard. The user can now invest on his or her preferred plan. You can go to subscribe to a plan. Then you select the particular plan the user want to invest on. You can invest on the starter plan. We have the premium. We have the professional. We have the uh, bronze. So let's say I want to invest on this particular one. As you can see here, we have the minimum deposit and the maximum deposit. Okay, you, uh, you can change the plan. This is for, just for um, sample. Okay, let's say I want to invest $20. I'll click on join plan. Okay, you, as you can see here now, we have you successfully purchased a plan and your plan is now active. Okay, if I click on this particular section that said my investment now, you will see my active plan there. So this is my active plan. That, this is because I've already invested on this um, premium package. So that is why it's now showing here, active Monday, January 17, 2022, and the time. So you will see your um, ROI here, which is $20. Then we have the interval weekly. We have the amount, $30 duration. So you can change settings to, to suit the type of work you are doing, okay? So as I said, this is just for um, educational purpose. I'm just trying to let you know what you will get from this particular script all right guys so we have um let's say the user want to uh, withdraw you click on um, withdraw funds then you have to confirm the password okay after confirm the password you click on continue all right the user have to select the payment method he or she want to make use of let's say i want to make use of this one okay 
so uh, we say enter amount to withdraw then we have let's say want to withdraw 500 dollar then you see this particular session now the otp so you will need to contact the admin of the website so that the admin will generate this otp for on the client to complete his withdrawal okay we say otp will be sent to your email when you request okay so we say enter bitcoin pay payment address so the user have to uh, input his or her bitcoin payment address in this particular session then click on complete request all right but we don't want to make a withdrawal right now i'm just showing you how the withdrawal process work guys as you can see everything work perfectly well this is awesome guys so we'll move over to the admin session right now and then i will explain the step-by-step -step guide on how to and change things from the admin session so i will log into the admin session this is the admin session so let me go back to the dashboard okay so this is the um dashboard of the admin all right so we have the investment plans so you can you can create new investment plan from this particular session as you can see right now we have the starter premium professional and then bronze so you can you can add new plan so and also you can decide to change you can edit the already existing plan also so you can just you just click on this particular session okay and do the necessary um change you need all right so after after making the necessary change you click on update plan all right so that's how to update plan from the admin dashboard and also you can delete plan so you just click on this particular session here to delete plan you can delete all the plans then create new one okay so this particular session talks about manage users so in this particular session now all the registered users this is where you will see them okay those are the registered users um on this particular website right now as you can see these are um client name we have the account balance we have their email address we have their phone number we have the status of the particular account then we have the date register so if you want to um manage a particular user account now this is where you will do that let's say i want to manage this account so i will click on manage okay so i've clicked on manage i will it will direct me to this particular session then if i want to perform any action on this account right now then i will click on this particular session here that's it action you see login activity so in this particular session you can track a particular user login activity also have block you can block a user account from this particular session and also you can turn off trade you can credit or debit a user account you can even reset the user password okay you can clear accounts you can add trading history you can edit a user account you can send the user an uh, email all right so you can also log in as the user guys as you can see these are awesome investment scripts so those are mad features you are seeing in this particular script right now you can log in a user account even without having his or her password you can even change or reset the user password you can delete the particular account guys this is awesome okay let me see i want to credit a user account now without the user you know making payments directly from his or her account i can decide to credit the account okay so i'll click on this credit slash debit let's say i want to credit the account with um, five thousand dollar select where to credit or debit so i'll click on uh, fees bonus profit so you have to select let's say i want to click on uh, uh, profit i want to click on profit i'll click on profit then i will come over here select credit to add debit to subtract okay so i hope you understand what that section say select credit to add and debit to subtract so let's say i want to credit the account i don't want to debit the account then i'll click on submit all right so i've successfully added five thousand dollar to a user account guys this this is an awesome script so it's already showing on my admin dashboard here five thousand dollar so as profit it's already sh it's already showing as profit so i will go over to the user account right now then refresh okay so let me um, click on dashboard awesome guys awesome guys so as you can see right now five thousand dollar is already showing on the user account as its total profit so the user can withdraw this amount now so once the user login he will see this particular on five thousand dollar on his account as his profit so he may decide to withdraw it guys this is awesome the next thing i'll do right now okay let's let's go back to the admin dashboard i'm not i'm not through there okay so we'll go to 
Okay, I already um, show you the manage deposits. Then we have the manage withdraw. Okay, whenever a user place a withdraw, so it will show here. The withdraw will show here. Then you can either approve or decline the withdraw. All right. So you will see all the users that are requesting withdraw in this uh, in this particular session that say manage withdraw. Okay. So then we have the uh, administrative um, session. So in this particular session, you can add admin. You can decide to make a user admin, or you can just create an admin um, account over here. So that's for that, guys. Then we have the settings. We have the website settings. We have the app settings here. So this is where you're able to manage the website uh, information. So you can, this is the website name. So you can change this particular one to your company name. Then we have the uh, website title. You can change this, this as well. We have the website URL. So you can change this. You can change everything. Then you can add your website logo here. Then your website um, favor icon. So guys, these are awesome screens. I will be showing you step by step guide on how you can upload this particular website. So I will be giving you access to the um, WordPress um, team and the script I use to develop this particular website. So I will be leaving a link in the description of this particular video. So in case you want to download it, you can always click on the link. Okay? So, so we will get started with the step-by-step -step video guide where I will be showing you how to create this particular website from scratch.